When people think of Hawaii, they think of beautiful beaches, the land of aloha, yet under all of that beauty is, is a very, very dirty past. The injustice started in 1893 when the Hawaiian kingdom was overthrown. With the assistance of the United States, the Hawaiians were dispossessed of their land, they weren't recognized as indigenous, and they were thrown into the worst, inaccessible, uh, unfertile lands that were available. The second period is the period that I call um, the period of exploitation. That's in 1959 when the state of Hawaii took over the trust responsibilities. There's no higher obligation recognized in law than that of a fiduciary. And the state routinely breaches it as if it's not subject to the same rules that any commercial entity would be subject to. Frankly, if this trust were being administered by the bank out the window there, the people administrating it would be investigated by the Attorney General's office. The third period, the period of cruelty, is the worst. Because in 1991, the state of Hawaii said, we have done wrong. We have not fulfilled our responsibility. And we want you to apply to the Hawaiian Claims Office for compensation. 2,700 people applied in 1991. And in 1999, the state canceled, suspended the office. They canceled it. That was an insult to the Hawaiians. It was plain, irresponsible, no respect for our culture. Offering to compensate them and then taking away that offer of compensation, I mean, that's abject cruelty. Um, and that's what was the impetus for this case. We filed the case in 1999 because 2,721 Native Hawaiians were left without recourse um, to file their claims against the state of Hawaii. With this most recent decision, our damages model has been adopted for the entire class, and we are now able to use our proposed matrix for calculating damages on the basis of fair market rental value for a developed lot for each year of delay. What's so sad is that we've had over 400 kupuna die. The phone calls that I, I used to get have, they're gone. It was so obvious to the court that this had been a dilatory tactic to keep from paying the bill for what the state promised to do, that it added in the fact that the state had contributed to the harm by litigating this case for 20 years. That, I think, is very significant. This case could not have been won without the involvement of attorneys who are part of public justice. And I really want to thank them sincerely. If there's anything that, that people from the mainland should recognize is that while Hawaii is beautiful, the Native Hawaiians are dispossessed in their own land. They need justice, preferably while they're alive. We're all equal, we're all human beings. This is our way to live. We are the Native peoples. You should take care of the Native peoples. Don't you think?